Constitutional rights define and shape the life of citizens and the society in general. Their affirmative exposition and meaningful appreciation constitute the lifeblood of citizenry aspirations. These rights become kinetic with dynamic, vibrant, and pragmatic interpretation. Constitutional rights have to be construed and developed in such a manner that their real intent and existence percolate to the lowest rungs in the society. That is the reason that for the constitutional rights, it must meet the marginalized. The emerging world order calls for a constitutional democracy to earn the expected role for effective implementation of constitutional rights. It is the obligation of the courts to see that rights are not even slightly affected or dented. The other wings of the state should understand the command under the constitution to implement the orders of the courts so that the constitutional democracy maintains its sacrosanctity. Absence of affectation is a positive sign of the new world order. The judiciary, while performing the most important function of being the final arbiter of the constitution has acted as the protector of rights guaranteed under the constitution by embarking upon the journey of fruitful engagement. The legitimate expectations of a citizen under the constitutions have to be made and no individual, and I mean no individual should remotely regard it as an object of chemical experimentation. No experimentation is permissible. It is to be borne in mind that the rights do not remain stagnant and confined. On the contrary, constitutional rights are ever growing, perpetually continuous, and embody a telescopic and expanded vision so as to enrich the future life of a citizenry. The nowness and the newness get into an inseparable wedlock. Constitutional courts in a meaningful democracy have assumed the role of ardent guards for strengthening the rights this has set the process of judicial statesmanship and it has paved the path for the ascendance of rights. The sense of creativity is the order of the day and it is not to be marginalized by any competitive, conservative perception. I repeat these three words, con competitive, conservative, perception. With each passing day, the scope, extent, and the ambit of fundamental rights have constantly been expanded only to be compatible with the changing needs of the society. The courts have refused to adopt a narrow and a pedantic approach as regards the interpretation of the constitutional rights. The approach has become progressive being aberrant to any regressive method.